Good morning, Vlogmas Day 11. So, y'all, today I'm doing another day of substitute teaching. I'm going to a school that's actually at the block. This is my outfit for today. I have on my short look at them boots, dress, and my blazer that I usually wear to work. But, um, yeah, I'm doing substitute teaching today. I think it's a third through fifth grade class today. So it's actually up the block for me. I'm actually am kind of running late. It's 7.08. But because it's up the block, I'm really pushing it today. So hopefully I have the right school today. Because last time, it was another time I thought it was a school up the block. And it was actually their other campus. Then I went to their upper campus. And I was supposed to go to the lower campus. So I had to go to three different schools that morning. And... But yeah, so y'all, I'm doing substitute teacher. I'll try to record throughout the day. If not, I'll do something interesting in the house when I get back. But um, guys, stay tuned. Make sure you watch all my other Vlogmas videos uh, like this from Vlogmas Day 9. You can see what that was for on Vlogmas Day 9. And um, make sure you watch the rest of my Vlogmas videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I'm back home. I did not get to vlog much with a substitute, substitute teaching gig. Um, today I had kind of like, in a public school it would be a special education class. So it was third through fifth grade mixed together and that's what it was. It was about 12 students, it was like five paras. So I did that today, I didn't really get to do much and I don't feel comfortable really vlogging the students and stuff. Um, but it was a good day. They were actually better than a class I actually had before. They were pretty good kids. So. Um, now today i know i don't have much footage so today i am actually cooking right now so i'm about to make these pork chops and broccoli i'm making everything in one pot so i'm making the pork chops first take that out and then i'm gonna put the broccoli in that pot and i'll probably make some rice but you probably won't see me make the rice but anyway um i actually make pork chops many different ways i got this recipe that i'm gonna make from a youtuber named auntie fee i think she they switched her name to auntie fee and tavis now but auntie fee be you know saving a day sometimes when you don't know what to do if you want something different she be saving a day sometimes so check out auntie fee f-e-e -E, and tavis on youtube and you know you know you know you know So guys, for this recipe, I'm gonna need onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, parsley, black pepper, and I always take out my Mrs. Dash, the garlic and herb. Okay, I'm gonna need some salt, so I'm gonna use some some seasoned salt. These are the pork chops I'm gonna use right here. I'm gonna wash them right now. So I put all my pork chops into a bowl. Now I'm going to put some water in here. I'll put cool water and let this sit and clean. I'm going to put some lemon juice in here. Just for those that want to see, this is lemon juice. I put some lemon juice in here so they sit and soak. And I let that soak for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll come wash them off again. So now y'all, so now guys, I'm gonna mix that together. I'm actually gonna put on some kitchen gloves that I have. Cause you know, I hate when the food get in my nails. So I have these clear plastic gloves that I'm gonna put on. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm gonna put these on and basically mix this together and add more season accordingly. So. butter in here instead of oil because butter actually gives it a better taste so I'm gonna stir it around so it coats the pot I wonder if you can see what I'm doing I have it on medium heat and I'm gonna add these onions to it all right y'all 
to this butter, the melted butter, I'm gonna add these onions. smell of sauteed onions y'all so now that that is sauteing up I'm gonna add these chops to the pot I'm gonna turn up the heat a little more so y'all I'm not actually done I'm gonna add flour to the top of this this, that flour does give a gravy, but you're not supposed to put too much flour. So I'm gonna put some flour on top of it. So I'm gonna flip them right now, and I'll keep flipping them accordingly. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna add a little water to this mix, guys. I'm not gonna pour it on it because I don't want it to wash off the um, gravy. I think that's all I honestly need. Just so it doesn't lose its taste, I'm gonna put a little bit of chicken broth. I don't know if you guys can see, but the sauce is actually thickening up. And it smells so good. I'm a good cook. I'm a good cook. Hey. So y'all, I'm actually slicing them open to see if they're actually done and how pink it is on the inside. It'll tell me if they need to cook longer. I do think they need to cook a little bit longer, so I'm gonna lift them some more. Do y'all smell that? Do y'all smell this? Like, I wish y'all could smell it. Oh, and I'm just gonna flip them one more time and probably take them out to see how they're looking. So y'all, now my, I'm turning the fire down and I'm taking the pork chops out. So now with whatever's left, I'm actually gonna put the um, broccoli in. Y'all, I really don't have to add anything to this, but I'm gonna add some Mrs. Dash. Add a little bit of water to it. Gonna cover it so it can like steam a little bit. So y'all, I'm checking back on my broccoli. And it is coming out this is darn good. So I just finished the broccoli and the, what is this, pork chops. I'm probably gonna make some rice on the side. And that's about it, I'm gonna put coconut in my rice and that's about it and thank you for watching comment like subscribe to all that good stuff and hold on yeah like comment subscribe do all that good stuff that fun stuff and i'll see you guys the next day with vlogmas day 12 bye guys